the whole civil rights movement was so very personal to Lyndon Johnson and to his family, and therefore to me. I was there August 6, 1965, when he signed the Voting Rights Act. Well, my mother and sister were out of town, and that meant that it, I was on daddy duty that day. I was supposed to accompany him to important occasions, and no occasion could have been more important in the life of the Lyndon Johnson family than that. So I was thrilled to be able to be an eyewitness to history. But I was 18 and I was young and I had places to go and things to do. And I said, Daddy, where are we going? And he said, where are we going? We're going to the Congress, Lucy. And I said to him, why, Daddy? Why are we going to the Congress? And he put his head in his hands and said, Lucy Baines. And he never called me Lucy Baines unless I was found a bit wanting. We are going to the Congress because there are going to be some courageous men and women who may not be returning to the Congress because of the stand they have taken on voting rights. And there are going to be some extraordinary men and women who will be able to come to the Congress because of this great day. That's why we're going to the Congress. And I saw some of the great civil rights leaders of my time standing around a very small desk. And I saw some of the brilliant leaders of the Congress standing there too. And I knew in my youth, this was a moment of all moments and I should take it in and treasure it. I had done nothing as everyone else in that room had done to deserve to be there. But it was a thrill of a lifetime that I will treasure for all time. That the decision that was made in Shelby versus Holder has already caused such pain, such isolation, such anger, such hurt, such disappointment, so many people it has pitted us against each other in ways that are not necessary. Deep in my heart, I do believe that Americans want their fellow citizens to be able to vote. 